Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we finished up the main quest, Get Junior, picked up several new side quests, and rounded out our day by playing the game of Gwent, which I eventually won. I think it only took two tries, so not too bad. In today's video, I want to work on some of those side quests that I've been picking up over the last couple of days, the first of which is an eye for an eye, and I need to meet Vernon Roche at his camp, and it has something to do with Vess. So the quest text says, Vernon Roche Roche fell into dour spirit, spirits after Geralt's conversation with Radovid at the chess club. He didn't want to say right then what had blackened his mood. Instead, he asked the Witcher to come talk to him at his hideout near Oxenford. So we needed to meet him at his camp, and I'll, all I've done since yesterday is empty my bags, repair, and run out to a fast travel point. So let's head out to the Temerian Partisan hideout and see what he has to say. If I remember correctly, it had something to do with Vess and... Best be aware of the other side of the river. One false move and you could be royally fat. Fair enough. Um, something to do with Vess and convincing her of something. And when we first came here... Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? I guess. But when we first came here, Vernon and her were having a, a, a thing, a verbal the thing. Witcher. Just what our band of merry men <laughs> Um, sir, are you okay? Maybe? Mm, okay. All right, let's try to find Vernon somewhere. You trouble me, Greylocks. Hmm. When this is all over, I aim to open a whore Yes, in so you've Bezina. said. Hello, Vernon. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Yes. So what do you do these days? I feel like we asked these already. What do you do here, Hunt Squirtel? You chest, right? Yeah. Tamara. We've done these. So mentioned you have a problem. Let's just do that. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Mm-hmm. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why? Do you not trust Vess anymore? Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. <laughs> it's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Ah. So why did she go to that village? Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Hmm. So what can I possibly do? All right. So you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks, and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. But... I mean, yes, I'll help you, but I kind of want to help save the villagers. Is that wrong? Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberry Dale. Mm-hmm. I know. I I've been there. Yes, yes. OK. 
character entry, Vess. So this time, Vess strayed from her usual loyalty and ignored Rush's orders by leaving her post without permission. Faced with an unusual dilemma, Vernon decided to turn to the Witcher for help. Um, so those under... Ugh, again, they're doing the backwards paragraph thing. So those under Rosh's command rarely defied orders when they did. The task of disciplining them fell to Rosh's second-in-command, Vess. No one who endured a reprimand from this tight-lipped yet strong-armed soldier would ever think of insubordination again. But now she's the one doing it. Okay, I read Philippa last time. So Vess... See, again, like... It's roughly the same. I feel like she was a little bit more buttoned up in the last game. But again, I feel like they de-aged her a little bit and made her much more smooth skinned and pretty. Like last time she was very, she was pretty in the last game, but she definitely had a look of like, I'm a soldier, you know, that a little bit more worn sort of look. And now she looks much more, I don't know, smoothed out, younger. Anyway, Vess was a veteran officer of the Blue Stripes and the only soldier from Rocher's former unit to survive the war. After the Blue Stripes were decimated and officially disbanded, Vess remained at her commander's side to continue with him the seemingly hopeless struggle for Temerian freedom. Energetic and tough, Vess had always impressed with her skill with a crossbow and sword alike, out shooting and out swinging all the men in her unit into to a laughable degree. Though usually well-disciplined, Vess refused to heed Vernon's command and set off alone to face enemy forces. I know, but I kind of want to... I mean, I get it. In war, people die, in. even the innocent, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't Best try and save them, right? I don't... It's fine. Well, it's not fine, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's see, let's see what options we have. I can save my game. There we go. Hello, Vernon. It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Well, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer, over there near the... Death to the Black Ones! At me, Sirka! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we Kill all the Nuff Guardians. Um, okay. But then again, if we kill all the Nuff Guardians, aren't they just gonna send more? Which means more villagers would die anyway? I feel like that's also what is gonna happen. Oh, Vess is... Oh, I see. We have to save Vess. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yes, yes. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Ow. God damn it, Vess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and what not exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up, if you wise up. Move out! Uh, a prisoner? I mean, they're just gonna torture the guy, aren't they? One left. Um. Mm. Let's try prisoner route and see what happens. Uh oh, got yourselves a prisoner. 
We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Yeah, hard to argue with that. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. <sighs> ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. Environmentally unfriendly achievement. <laughs> that means. I I don't know how I feel about this one. It's very. Hmm. I'm like, yes, you want to go defend the civilians who helped you, but if you kill the Guardian soldiers, I feel like they're more just gonna come. But it is good to let them know that you. I don't know. It's just very complicated because, like, these guys are just soldiers who are being sent to, like, in their eyes, defend their now new homeland, and it's, and then, but they're occupying Tamaria, and and oh, it's just, it's so, it's so complicated, and I love it that this game is so very complicated. <laughs> but next time, try and be more careful on dressing the stiffs. A coat's tough to sell when it's got blood all over the Martin fur collar. <laughs> I saved being gentle for when I did a your mum's twat. You don't want it, the Baron's man for you. Well, they're not the Baron's men anymore because the Baron's not around anymore, but okay. But yeah, it's it's a very complicated situation. I don't think anybody's right in this situation, but um, I, I genuinely appreciate the complex nature of this game. It's awesome. All right, so the next thing I want to work on, I think is actually going to be, I don't know if it should be now or never, or if I should do Redania's Most Wanted. Hmm. So I think I do actually want to do Redania's Most Wanted first. Not sure if it matters in what order I do things, but let's let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> so we need to talk to the witch hunters in front of Philippa's hideout, but the quest text says, they say chess is the game of kings and Radovid proved this point twice over during his meeting with Geralt. First by playing the royal game at the Oxenford Chess Club while they met, and then by treating Geralt like a pawn he could send out to do his bidding. His requested move, Witcher takes Sorceress. His spies had reported finding signs of Philippa Eilhart's presence in the elven ruins outside Novigrad. Geralt was to go there and retrieve her. Normally Geralt resisted attempts to command him around the board, but he owed Radovid a favor, and he had his own reasons for wanting to find Philippa. This is how the heaven sent you. Thanks. Um, but before I do that, or on the way of doing that, I want to head back to the Temerian Partisan hideout and see if um, Roche has anything to say or Vess has anything to say. I can find... I, oh, there's Vess. Let's... Talk to her. One of a matter for you, I'll find you. Just what our band of merry men. Swords back, cave high. You've been here, you've been there. So tell me. Swords down, cave high. You've got no blood dreaming to shave their cut. Huh. Okay. Let's see. And Vernon was back this here. Is over. Yes, I yes. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Okay, I guess no updates from so either long. of them. Now, hmm. Witches, I can't catch what the kind of My mouse is taking life. so long to move. <laughs> okay, well I guess we will go to the uh, Elven which, Ruins. You trouble. Which are right around the corner. Sort of. And talk to the witch hunters in front of Philippa's hideout. Alright. Traps. We've dragged out four wounded, and there's near a dozen corpses still down there. I don't 
give a shit. We've orders to search this cave, and that's what we'll do. Hmm. The eternal flame will burn away our sins. Scrap before I lose my patience. Burned all the easy to find witches already. I could use a quickie. Ew. Ugh. Horrible people. Having trouble? <laughs> Nothing fucking but. One plowing trouble after the other. But what's it to you? Who are you? I'm a witcher, obviously. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. You sound enthused. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Hmm. Yeah, give me that. Great. I'll take that now if you don't mind. Here, choke on it, you twit. How do you know Philippa's down there? Think Philippa's still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then, tucked herself away here. Hmm. I feel like when we came here exploring for the cat gear, that there was some portal, wasn't there, that I couldn't get in? So maybe that's where she went? Anyway, anything else I should know? What can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple. The witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap. Then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Probably. Goodbye. Time I saw if Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. Fair enough. Well, Open Philippa's hideout. That could Enter for Philippa. Not life. He is a witcher. Anything witcher else? Or not, okay. Be dead. So, no update here. Let's go to Philippa's character sheet. Here we go. So, thanks to her mastery of the difficult art of polymorphy, Philippa had been able to evade her pursuers by transforming into an owl. Then she'd hold up in a hideout outside of Novigrad to wait out the worst. Apparently, she didn't do such a stellar job. I realize I've been working quite a few days, and I don't feel like my level's gone up very much. I feel like it's gone up next to nothing. So I may need to... I don't know what I'm gonna need to do, but anyway. Let's uh, say before I jump down any farther head on down here. See, that was where I found the information for the cat gear. And yeah, here's the portal. Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door. Uh, examine, examine. Missing one tile. Search Philippa's hideout. for me to move around. Yeah, because she can just sort of... Huh, there's something to do here, but... It's a witch hunter. And an 
another. Portals. Great. And the witch hunters probably messed with them. Works. Who would have thunk? What's with the crystal thing? So she's here somewhere, or at least she was here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Neckers. Might have expected as much. I love places like this. There's a thing right here. Hmm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Um. Igni? No. Uh, let's try. Axie? No. Yurden? Ard? Should work now. There we go. Activate the portal. <laughs> like, of course, it's the last one. All right, let's say before we go through this portal. Stay back. Not one step closer. She that before you hurt yourself. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big's set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what do you think's set to happen here? What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lo Antiel, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. Really? Okay. And is Philippa still here? Think Philippa's still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. Hmm, I'll guide you out of here. All right, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. <laughs> what if you can't? <laughs> Behave and give me the crystal. Give me the crystal and you're in for a world of hurt. I mean, like, I'm just gonna Jedi mind trick him because it's, 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 it's easier. And I feel like Garrett will just be too annoyed to have to deal with arguing with him. Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so place the crystal in the right spot. All right, well, let's look around first, though. Letter to Philippa. Dear Philippa, as I write this, I am sipping your favorite cocktail on the terrace of my father's Matina estate and wondering, what the devil are you thinking? I'd understand if you simply grow bored with me. I'd accept it if it had turned out that the pair we made 
was not to your liking or you had found yourself a younger, prettier model, but for the love of the bleeding gods, Dijkstra, <laughs> that with all due respect, pot-bellied swine over me? I do not know if you have been testing new concoctions <laughs> that have addled your mind, or perhaps this is another one of your games. Yet even if you must seek intimacy with the primitive for political reasons, I do not see why this should mean the end of our relationship. After all, it would not be the first time we hid our love. Huh. Dot, dot, dot. Interesting. Philip had dumped some woman for Dijkstra. <laughs> okay. Ooh, feather. Maybe we'll get to examine Another it. feather. Doubt Philip had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Yes, you, you keep saying that. Uh, what's over here? Was this the portal that I came out of? It must be. And I've seen these on the map before. Those little, like, swirly things. And I... It's on the mini-map. Those little swirly kind of icons. And I'm not sure what they are. I'm assuming they're portals, but... Um... Hmm. Oh, there we right. go. Now to activate it. Oh, wrong one. My bad. There we go. Yeah, they must be portals. Okay, that makes sense. to search her hideouts. I'm... Hmm. Should I be leaving right now? I'm very... Hmm. It's kind of hard to search if I leave, right? Oh, here we go. Loop. That's a portal. There we go. Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Mm -hmm. Another inactive portal, missing its power cell. Maybe the Neckers took a liking to it. Search Philippa's hideout, find the missing crystal. Okay, let me flag that. Hmm. I feel like this quest is a little finicky or I'm just not paying very well attention today. See, there's the red thing is here, but it's not showing up. Do I not have the crystal yet? I thought I had the crystal. Oh, I need to go down there and get it. Okay. Hmm. A tunnel. Wonder where it leads. To more neckers, Geralt. Obviously. Oh, was that our friend who followed us? <laughs> Okay. 
Anything else of interest down here? No, now I just gotta get back out. I don't think that's the guy who followed us, but I don't know for sure. There we go. Let's try not to fall down. <laughs> And now you'll let me do the thing. Yep. Three. Gotta be the lowest level. A portal on the edge of the floor makes me very nervous to walk through. <laughs> okay, so we're on the lowest floor, Geralt said. Why are you glowing? Alright, let's try to go a smidgen farther. Let me actually get out my torch. I feel like that'll just... Ah, oh, much better. to go over there, so let's check out all these little alcoves first. a gargoyle so I put on some elemental oil so hopefully Also in luck. Let's look at that one before I forget. Bestiary. Elementa. Fire Elementals. The first fire elemental was created by Ranzand Alvaro. Sadly, flames engulfed his entire laboratory, burning it, along with every other building on his block to ash. Tarvik's Sandoval, Origins of Magic Arcana. Fire is the most destructive of the elements, thus the aggressive lethality of the creature's that embodies its essence should come as no surprise. Fire elements are forged in complicated magic rituals for one purpose, destruction. And they pursue this with murderous determination. So yeah, I have enhanced Elementa oil because I've gone through and tried to uh, make as many oils and potions and things as possible. And wow, that stuff really helps. <laughs> okay, so now I need to search her hideout again. And I was over here. I did get all of the bestiary entry, right? I did. Okay, not crazy. Nothing there. Anything down here? Again, I don't get it, but it's fine. Oh. Nothing super exciting. That one either. Hmm. There are more of these over here. Huh. I, 
thought they might have been hiding something, but I guess not. All right, let's go a smidgen farther, but I'm not sure we're going to finish this today. And if we don't, we'll just we'll finish it tomorrow. It'll be fine. Bed, table, a few chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. Hmm. Agates. Kind Philip always wore around her neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone, or used them in her experiments. Stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Who was that, I wonder? Alright, uh, let me finish looting the place before. It looks like one of those little, like, mage telephone things. Come on, girl. Examine. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Hmm. hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. But her place is trashed. A megascope. There you go, that's what it's called. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. A megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Maybe. Here we go. Alright, let's save in case I hit it like a 20 minute cutscene. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped. Tell Radovid what you learned about Philippa. Really, that's it? Gerald searched at, found and searched Philippa's hideout, though there were signs of her presence everywhere. The sorceress herself was long gone. She had, however, found, left one thing behind that could prove a great value, a damaged crystal from her megascope. The Witcher knew such a gem could, if properly probed, reveal priceless information about her doings. Oh, he thus was faced with a choice. Should he give the crystal to Radovid or take it to one of his sorceress's allies? I mean, I could take it to Triss, right? And see what she has to say about it and then maybe take it to Radovid? But I don't know. But that's something for tomorrow because we are at time for today. So tomorrow, I think... We'll go to Triss and show her the crystal. And I've got a quest to go to talk to Triss anyway, so two for one. And then if I can, I'll go to Radovid and give him the crystal and finish up this quest and then go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video. Oh,